All right, YouTube, another DIY vid. <clears throat> I just finished up a kind of a pain in the ass project, but I got it done. Uh, I couldn't really find too much online about this, but this is about sistering two boards or three boards really to uh, <clears throat> to your rafters when you have a cracked rafter. So here's a regular rafter. This one's fine, but what you guys can't see is that I had a crack in my rafter about, I don't know, two and a half, three feet on this guy. You can actually tell, you can see how the bottom kind of comes down. That's because it's cracked all the way through. <clears throat> so from what I saw online, you want to get a piece of wood that matches your rafters. In my case, these, these are two by sixes. This house was built in the 50s, so these are actually two inches. I went and bought some pressure treated two by eights. <clears throat> ripped them down to six inches and then the idea is to <clears throat> extend on either side of the crack about two feet <coughs> <coughs> so my excuse me so it's very dusty up here so in my case the crack was about three feet long maybe four feet so i i cut my board six feet and uh so i gave myself about 20 inches on either side which should be enough and then the trick is Instead of buying carriage bolts, which will work, I went and bought these guys, which are great. These are called through locks, and they don't require any pre-drilling. You basically take this little this piece off, you drill it through, you pop this piece on, and then you continue drilling, and that'll tighten everything up. And uh, as you can see, I got three of them in place. The key is to get <clears throat> on either side of the crack <clears throat> and what you're doing is you're creating a new beam you're spreading the load and then the crack basically is taken out of the equation you're no longer putting stress on on this uh, cracked joist or cracked rafter you're now spreading the load over two new pieces and as you can see in the back you got your other side here so it's kind of a pain in the ass it took me about three hours but to recap identify the crack measure it get yourself two pieces of wood rafters that are the same size extend two feet or about 20 inches maybe at least on either side of the crack take the two boards and what i did is i took a nail gun and i just nailed them in place just to hold it because i'm doing this all by myself <clears throat> And if you have a floor, if you have a, a attic like mine, where you have kind of openings and it's very hard to get around, go to Home Depot or Lowe's, pick yourself up some plywood uh, four by eight sheets, 15, 30 seconds or about a half inch wide. Measure on center between your ceiling joists, which in most cases is gonna be 16 inches. <clears throat> I like to span it two or three, so this is about 32 inches. This one is uh, 48. And then I just nail gun them in place with my brad nailer. Um, my my 16 gauge, or sorry, my 18 gauge brad nailer, about two inch brads, maybe one and one and a half, uh, one and three quarter inch brads. That way you have a little bit of uh, flooring to do the work on. Otherwise, you'll never be able to do this job unless you have, unless you're able to kind of lay on your back, because that's what I had to do. <clears throat> and then uh, <clears throat> nail gun your boards in place. And then you get these guys, and these are about $2.50 each. You want to get the six and a quarter inch because you're going to be spanning, uh, you're going to be spanning three, sorry, three uh, <clears throat> rafters. So you want to just give yourself enough rope. And then you marry them all together and, you know, it took me about, like I said, it took me about three hours, but it's not too bad. Um, anyway, good luck with this project and uh, stay tuned for more vids.